Hey everybody, we're just going to do a uh, little experiment here. I've had some issues in the past with using the polyester resin on styrofoam and even uh, when I've been using masking tape, having it leach through the masking tape and dissolve. Uh, not quite as bad as not having tape, but definitely enough to either ruin a project or make it very difficult to get smoothed out properly. So um, I've got foam here single layer of masking tape and then over here we have foil tape here and I wanted to also we're gonna try something new here I've done two sides of this foam block here and I'm gonna try this uh, PVA mold release um, I used it recently uh, on a seat that I did a seat pan that I made off of an existing cafe tail already so I used this as a way to get the pan to release from the tail without damaging the tail that was almost ready for paint. And so I have no clue what it's going to behave like with foam, but it's water soluble so I don't believe it's going to damage the foam. Um, basically I'm going to try the PVA on this side here on top of the foam, masking tape and foil tape just uh, to be as scientific as possible. And then on this side here we're just going to go straight resin so we can see the differences here and see. Uh, basically, you know, I want to see if I can get away with using the PVA on top of masking or possibly even straight on top of the foam. Uh, the foil works really well. It doesn't, the resin doesn't saturate to the foil. However, the foil tape does not conform nearly as well as the masking tape to uh, different, surf, uh, different curvatures and it's also a little more expensive than masking tape. So. And, and like some of these other projects, a lot of these cafe builds and various projects are, are a lot of time budget builds. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, put a layer on this side with the PVA here. And this stuff is, I believe, intended to uh, be sprayed out of a gun, but it seemed to work pretty well. I probably should have shook it up like that. It was not wise, but oh well. Anyhow, I brushed, uh, last time I used it, I used a brush and it, and it worked out fine. put a layer of it here and basically it's just a again it's water soluble so when you're done it's, you know if you're doing this on top of a project uh, like tail finished tail and you're trying to make a seat pan for it or you're trying to duplicate it or duplicate anything and make a mold it's it'll it'll wash right off with some water uh, and a little bit of elbow grease Last time I ended up doing, the only time, a couple layers of it, so I think that'll give us the best chance of this working. And you can, it's hard to see, I'm sure it's difficult to see in the, in the uh, video. Um, got a little flower petal on there for the character. Um, yeah, there. But we'll let this set up and then I'll come back and put a second layer on and then we'll slap some fiberglass on here and see how it behaves. It's time for layer two. This time uh, we're gonna fight the urge to shake it up. A lot fewer air bubbles this time. So there's the second coat, we'll let it dry and then we'll lay down some uh, they say 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, so we'll let it set up and throw some so throw some glass on it and see what happens.
All right, so this resin's had plenty of time to set up, so we're gonna pop these off here, and you can already see kind of what's going on here. We got a little bit of it in the video right after we started, right after we put the resin down. But um, the part here where the foam was uncovered is pretty severely caved in or deteriorated. I can't quite tell what's going on here. I can feel a difference uh, from the masking tape to the foil. And then over on the side where we laid down, where I brushed on some of the PVA mold release agent, um, not nearly as bad on the foam, but I'm a little disappointed because PVA on its own is not going to protect the foam, as I can tell already. Let's go ahead and pop these off here and see what we get. Yeah, and you can pretty well tell. Something interesting I, I noticed with the PVA, before we even put resin down, is that the masking tape started doing something strange here, and you can see the, the lines there where it started wrinkling up, almost like the PVA had some sort of negative reaction to the adhesive. Because um, it did not, I don't know, it's just not quite as smooth as it was before. I'm going to go ahead and peel this side off here. And actually, I went ahead and pulled the masking tape off. And you can see where the masking tape had kind of caved a little bit on the side without PVA. I'm going to go ahead and pull all this tape off here and see what the foam looks like. So underneath the, underneath the foil tape, on the non-PVA side is just, just about fine. Flipping it over here, obviously same thing, foil side, there's no deterioration. On the masking tape side, the PVA actually seemed to help quite a bit because I don't see, pull this tape off in here. It actually worked quite well. The PVA is definitely something I'll consider using in the future. Here's the non-PVA old release covered side. Um, foil tape, masking tape, no tape. And you can see the masking tape with no PVA over it. It's definitely um, had that foam affected by that. The PVA covered side, while the foam is better, it's still not usable. But it's good to know. PVA alone is not going to do the trick. However, it is encouraging to see that the masking tape area here is, from what I can tell, unscathed. It looks just as good as the foil covered portion. So that tells me I can get away in the future with just using one, one coat of masking tape without having to do two or three layers, um, which gets pretty cumbersome and redundant. Um, and then just coat it with some PVA. I'm not really sure why the, the tape acted strange with the PVA on it. And hopefully you can see that there. Um, it just put some ripples in it. I'm not sure that breaks my heart though, because it didn't seem to come off or come loose by any stretch. Um, yeah, there you have it. So uh, definitely had some questions about on this topic here about polyester resin eating away at the foam. Hopefully that uh, answers some of the questions there. Um, that's a piece of glass from the non-coated side. And then here's the piece of glass from the PVA coated side. And of course I only did one piece so it's pretty flexible. I didn't feel like wasting a bunch of, bunch of product. But from what I can tell, just like the foam, the foil coated side and the PVA coated uh, masking tape are uh, about as smooth as you could hope for. It is it is a little interesting. You can kind of see those rip those ripples that was in the masking tape here. You can kind of see on the bottom in the resin itself, but I can't imagine with two or three, four or five layers of fiberglass that. Uh, that would translate too much. So, for what it's worth, if you, um, 
It's kind of a neat little experiment. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And we can try some other stuff. If you have some other suggestions, I am very open to them. Thanks.